Yeah, here in Whistler, just left my hotel, and I'm gonna go judge a contest for Noble for best dressed in about an hour. So I've got a really short time to ride, but one of the best things about Whistler is there are just full on double black trails <laughs> right basically in the middle of the city, which I'm gonna go to right now. So it's just a quick pedal out the door of my hotel, and okay, let's go find them. All right, and quick short pedal, bike lanes the whole way. Sneak off and right into the climb. Now this is a pretty small little mountain, if you can call that. Only 50 meters of elevation. But, again, it's got a bunch of double blacks on it. But I actually got some good moves. And so, let's go explore. So I've ridden some of this before and some of it I haven't. So we're both whew, exploring the jank. Oh, smashing, smashing rocks together. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Pretty grippy. I think this is suicidal. I think the other trail might go that way. We go on to this sketchy little bridge here. And again, this is in city limits, like just so easily accessible. And we go onto this bridge, it's only like, huh, super duper high. Come on down, little drop, drop, <laughs> so fun. Woo, little greasy today. And then, what do we got here, more jank. Let's find a line here, down here, just romp it. And then down here, down here, okay. <laughs> like how crazy is it to have these trails just so easily accessible? Like this is just a, this is just a whatever trail for Whistler. Just in the middle of the city. Just hanging out. Pretty aggressive warm up for me as well. And, whew, okay. That was the first trail. Probably a bit aggressive to warm up on, but yeah. Okay, well let's head up. Let's go try the other one. I think that was Suicycle. I think the other one we're gonna go right now is inappropriate name for YouTube. We don't want to get demonetized. Either way. Okay, let's go back up. Now today's video is brought to you by Insta360. I've been using the X3 on the chin bar of my full face for the last couple of months now, basically using it for all my videos, and I've been really loving it. What I especially love is I only ever need to film once. So if there's something gnarly that I want to do, I just need to film it the once, and then I can make vertical or horizontal content out of the exact same clip. That means I don't need to do it twice, and I don't need to choose beforehand, oh, am I going to film this in vertical, horizontal? I can do that all afterwards. And of course, I love that I can reframe the video later. I can always make sure my bars are in the shot. I can do all that kind of stuff afterwards. I don't need to worry, you know, is the shot going to be ruined if I tap my camera or anything like that. Today, I'm doing zero EV, trying the isolated exposure mode, auto everything, and vivid colors, and low sharpness. Insta also has a ton of other cameras, not just 360 cameras, but they also have things like the Go 3, the smallest and lightest action cam out there. You can just toss that thing anywhere. If you want to grab an X3, head down, check out the link in the description, and you also get a free gift if you use that link. So, go check it out. So, okay, let's get back to the video. So, I thought Suicycle was that way, but that is the trail that shall not be named because of the copyright gods of YouTube. This direction is actually Suicycle. I haven't ridden this one, so, uh, yeah, this goes see what it's like. There's no information on it, and the name sounds scary, so, shall we explore? Okay, let's go see what this is all about. Okay, start off with some, some charm for sure. And into a bit of a bit of a shoot. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Not a very well traveled trail. <laughs> Up here into another mystery shoot. Okay, I always like to take it pretty easy going down <laughs> random shoots where I don't know where they go. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely, okay, based on this narrow tree wiggle, this is an older trail for sure. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, that's a tight corner. <laughs> Hilarious. 
And I think, okay, we're down. Huh, that was something. All pretty short, but yeah, I'd say that was double black. Maybe on the easier side for Whistler, but in general, quite steep, quite raw. Okay, let's go check out the last trail, Hand of Doom, I think. All right, this is Hand of Doom. I have ridden this one, but I remember it being a little hard to read. So, we'll see if I can remember where to go. Oh, nice steep roll right here. <laughs> nice. Oop, yep, see, it goes this way. <laughs> okay, now we're, now I think it gets a little easier to read if I remember right. Go here, here. Oh yeah, there is oh, a pretty tight little side hit right there. And then, oh yeah, there's this move. This is fun. Down the off-camera rock. Sick. Whew. Definitely some jank. And then oh, down here too. And extremely tight corner. Uh, another extremely tight corner. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> Good to have your Euro turns locked in for this. And then we got a bit of a shoot with what I believe is, again, a pretty tight corner. Corner here, down, down, more tight corners, more tight corners, and I think squiggle your way through here. Nice. Yeah, so steep trails on low elevation hills over pretty quick. There's one more thing I want to go check out that I saw on the way up. All right, let's go check it out. I was just gonna ride the double blacks, but as I was coming up, I saw all these little jumps and it's a single black and it looks super fun. Yeah, it's funny having this just like right in the middle of Whistler. As far as I know, just an unsanctioned little jump trail. And it's funny you hear in other municipalities like, oh, liability, can't have jumps, can't have features, can't have trails, you know. Someone's going to get hurt, someone's going to sue. But when you point to places like Whistler here and a bunch of other communities, where you're like, well, they have jumps and features and stunts and bike trails and everyone loves them. And sure, some people get hurt sometimes, but it's a known risk. Doesn't really seem to be a huge issue here. Obviously, quite the opposite. It attracts a huge amount of tourist dollars. You say that to these people and yeah, it's not really a good answer. They just don't like biking, I guess. Doing stuff for the first time is always scary. Even if they're way smaller than things I've done. Oh, try to find the right line here. And, oh, little gapper, little gapper. Yep, nice. Ooh, hi. Oh, <laughs> one last little jump. Kind of missed it, but. That's all right. All right, super nice to be back in Whistler again. That's not even the main attraction. That's not the bike park. It's not like any of the big Explorer trails or the big double blacks on the mountain. This is just in the middle of the city and it's still super sick trail network. Thanks again for Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. If you want to grab an X3 or any of their cameras, head down to the link in the description. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Whew.